Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. So I have to tell you right away that the energy coming through in this reading is the first word I wanted to use to describe it was frustrating. But then I realized that there was something deeper here. The reason this energy is so frustrating is because it's also so beautiful, because it's also so profound. What I'm realizing is that the two souls I'm channeling here, they are experiencing the frustration of being deeply connected in the spiritual realm in a way that isn't being manifested fully in the physical. They are experiencing the frustration of feeling so much mutual emotion for one another that is coming up against a wall of feeling as though they can't express that emotion. I'm just hearing like it has nowhere to go. I'm getting the name Peter for someone. By the way, when I do channel specific words or names, do keep in mind that these are just meant for specific individuals. And really with all of my messages, only take what intuitively connects with you. If you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation, then be sure to subscribe to this channel because by subscribing, this does allow me to more easily pick up on your energy and the energy of your situation. So as I was saying, there's a frustration here between these two souls and that's just what I kept getting. It was driving me crazy when I picked up this energy from you or from this person, from this situation, because it was like, it's like the energy of being so frustrated and so angry at someone and at the same time just wanting to embrace them, just wanting to kiss them. There's so much romantic love here and a lot of physical attraction here as well, even a lot of sensual energy also. But Part of the frustration is that intensity of the pull, of the attraction. And I'm getting that one person here has been better at resisting the pull in the 3D. So what I mean is both souls here feel this very strongly and in a mutual way, but one soul feels like it's just them and that they're going crazy because they tend to be the more spiritually sensitive one of the two. So I'm getting this could be an air sign, but not necessarily. So one soul here finds themselves reacting. I'm hearing them say, every time you pull on my heart, I react to it. And I know intuitively that these feelings are mutual, but I feel that I am always the one to reach out. I'm hearing to make the call. So you might talk to this person over the phone or reach out to them over the phone. I'm always the one to reach out. I feel like I don't have the self-control to not respond whenever you pull on my energy in this way. And the other person, the one who is pulling on your energy here, I feel that they have more self-control, but even to a fault, I feel this person has a very hesitant energy when it comes to really speaking their minds or even reaching out to you. You might be in no communication or very little or sparse, sporadic communication with this person because they experience so much hyper analysis of their every single move with you. And the frustrating thing about this is in part that hyper analysis is coming from a space of truly deeply loving you, caring about you, wanting something with you. And wanting to do it right is what I hear this person saying. A card just came out here. 
I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. That is actually when this energy hit me. I was on Instagram and I picked up that someone and their person may have both been online at the same time. I'm just hearing you could feel the tension, like the romantic tension between the two of you. But again, one person feels like they are losing their mind, feels like they are going crazy. The social media thing won't be relevant for everyone, but for some of you, you may be connected with this person through Instagram, through Facebook. You may see each other active or online. For some reason, I'm also getting that image of someone reading a text message and having red receipts on or like you see them typing and you just feel the energetic connection. I feel like there's something here about you and this person virtually connecting in the same space, but not directly contacting each other, if that makes sense. And the two cards to come out here, I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. I'm, I'm coming to you with an offer. See, I'm tripping over my words because this person is afraid of saying the wrong thing or stumbling over their words when they do come forward. See, that's where part of this frustration is coming from. This person feels, I want to almost call it desperation. They are trying everything they possibly can to get you to reach out. I'm hearing baiting you in some way, but I don't even know if they're doing it intentionally or if it's just that this person is a very powerful unconscious manifester, meaning they know how to flow energy toward you to get you to think about them. I'm getting some fire sign energy from someone I'm channeling here. So they might have fire sign energy in their chart, but part of why this is so frustrating to one of these souls is because the more spiritually sensitive soul of the two is not only picking up on this soul bond that they share with this person, which by the way, is already very intense. But on top of that, they are empathically absorbing what this person is sending to them energetically, this kind of desperation around this person. I'm hearing your energetic desperation sent toward me is causing me to feel desperate, causing me to feel urgent to reach out and Again, the frustrating thing here is this person is aware that they are usually the one to do the contact, to do the reaching out, but very often it is the other person who initiates the contact energetically in the unseen realms, meaning this other person sends you all this energy. They think about you so intensely. I have to say for some of you, in a romantic way, this person is fantasizing or visualizing being with you. They are imagining themselves specifically holding you, embracing you, or holding you in their arms, which is a specific visualization that you may actually be receiving from them. I'm seeing someone, I keep seeing someone in a collared shirt, if that connects with anyone. But the thing about this person is... It's like they are doing everything except directly contacting you. And here's the thing on the other side of this. And I just got another card here. My heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you've lost faith in me. And all of these four cards that came out from the Twin Flames and Separation deck do carry a strong masculine energy. So although you could take these messages in the reverse polarity, the masculine and feminine might be flipped for you. I do feel that for most of you, the masculine here is the one doing this what I'm calling initiating contact psychically, energetically, by thinking really heavily about you and you, the feminine, the one watching this, are the one who may be more spiritually sensitive and who is picking up on this energy, but who feels as though you generally are the one that reaches out to them. And I hear you saying, not this time. It's like, I feel this feminine having resolve I'm getting chills all over. You have a very intense soul bond with this person. You are not going crazy. There is something, I want to say faded, something intensely spiritual between the two of you. The word that keeps keeps coming up for me when I think of your connection is inevitable. There is something that feels 
heavy because it feels unavoidable. It feels inevitable. And what I'm getting here is that one of these souls in this connection really decided to choose themselves. I'm hearing to collect themselves and leave to finally live their life, to move on, to do what they felt was best for them. This won't apply for everyone. I'm just getting this for many souls listening. I feel that in many cases, this may have been a feminine who decided like, I feel like in some sense, we are keeping each other trapped in hell because this isn't moving forward. It feels very stagnant. I'm hearing dead in the water. So it just feels like this isn't really going anywhere in the 3D. So even though I feel this unconditional love for you and I feel this spiritual intensity, I am going to live my life. And I feel that for this feminine, this could have meant cutting contact, setting boundaries, blocking, choosing to date or be with someone else or open themselves up romantically. And I see them, it's almost like, hold on, a card just came out. Yeah, journey in the upright position. I feel that this feminine saw this as some type of very highly spiritual journey of self-love for herself. This wasn't so much a walking away as a coming home to self, really recentering herself, really balancing herself within. Door to spirit in the reverse position, resisting something highly spiritual. And I'm not saying this was the wrong choice for this feminine because I feel that this was a choice made from a beautiful space of self-love and commitment to the self first and foremost, which you know we often talk about as being so essential, especially if this is a twin flame connection because that self-love is so magnetic for twin flames, between twin flames. But the complicated thing here is in choosing to walk away, it's like trying to repress a connection that is intensely spiritual. And again, that word inevitable comes up. Now, of course, nothing is truly inevitable in this life because we do have free will. So we can choose to walk away from anything that isn't serving us. That is within the realm of our free will. But what this feminine is now feeling once again is the pull of this unfinished business spiritually with this person. And I have to tell you, regardless of what you've decided in your heart and mind, which again is your free will, something about this connection doesn't feel over. It doesn't feel like it's been fully closed out. Yes, yeah, six chakra in the reverse position. I feel like in walking away from this, which again may be the right choice for you, and I'm not saying it's not, but in this process of walking away, someone here has been trying to, trying to again repress something that is highly fated for them, something that is highly spiritual, and it's like they are now feeling the inevitable pull back to this person. And it's almost as though I have to say, this person by choosing to cut contact or focus on themselves or try to move forward, it's almost as though they called this masculine to then be more magnetized to them once again. It's like every time I choose myself, my own self-love, my self-worth to really move on with my life, ironically, that is right when this other soul comes back into your orbit. But it's not so ironic. It just speaks to the fact that you share a bond where there is authentic, unconditional soul attraction, meaning you are most attracted to one another when each of you are in that space of self-love, of joy, of authenticity. The temple path in the reverse position. Yeah, this masculine wants to open up his heart and what he wants to say is something about feeling like he got really off track with you or within this connection the word laugh came out from the love word scramble so i feel like you and this person may have really connected over your sense of humor and the masculine here may really be reflecting on that and thinking 
I just want to hear your laugh again to make you laugh. He might come in. If there is no communication, this masculine may be contemplated coming in with lightness, with humor, with playfulness to get his foot in the door of your life because quite frankly, he just misses you really, really strongly. And I hear him saying it gets, it gets worse late at night when it's close to, when it's close to sleeping, when he's close to falling asleep. Although I do sense he's having trouble falling asleep. I feel you leaving me behind. I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, so I feel this masculine really biding his time here, but it's kind of a strange energy because although he is in this waiting period, he also feels a strong sense of urgency. And also there's fear here. There is fear of you, feminine, leaving him behind. In fact, I feel that's what he's the most afraid of. That might be his greatest fear of anything in this life, walking away reversed, losing you completely and forever. And I feel that something about your recent actions, feminine, again, maybe you stepped away, you cut off his access from your communication, from your energy, from your 3D shows of love or affection toward him. But regardless, I feel there's been some kind of a wake-up call for for this masculine that made him realize yeah thinking man reverse that made him i'm hearing forced self reflection or forced self analysis i'm getting the energy from a masculine who was forced to look at something that he didn't want to look at yeah, with the sun card in the upright position, forced to confront. I feel like this may be a masculine who has drowned out a lot of his thoughts or emotions in substances or in work or in just the mundane nature, the routine nature of his life. But something happened recently that broke him out of his normal and resulted in this major wake-up call. Again, feminine, this may have been something that you did. This may have been and something he sensed within you energetically. But regardless, I feel like he sees you, feminine radiance, having some kind of moments in the sun. Now, what he might not realize is that if you were drawn to this reading, you are very much strongly, most likely feeling this masculine's energy, the pull, and this may be causing you some pain, some emotional pain. And I don't feel this masculine because I feel he's less spiritually awakened than you, feminine. So I don't think he's fully aware that his pain is something that you can feel energetically from him as well, because from his perspective of you, he sees you happy, thriving, having some moments in the sun, moving on with your life without him. And once again, that card, I feel you leaving me behind. And I feel this masculine is just, and of course, the other thing he was forced to confront, by the way, I feel I'm picking up on a masculine who is feeling a lot of anger. And this may be why feminine, you are feeling frustrated, feeling a kind of urgency, creating tension, emotional tension, tension in your physical body. Many feminines are dealing with this, especially if this is a twin flame situation. And I'm hearing for some feminines, it feels like this is breaking your peace. It's like you may have really come to a point where you felt very enlightened in some sense. You felt a strong feeling of pervasive inner peace and harmony. And then all of the sudden you're feeling these sensations of urgency, of restlessness, emotional pain, these emotional outbursts. And a lot of this, if this is for you, is coming from this masculine counterpart here, which again, in many cases, I feel is a twin flame. And I also feel this masculine may be the type to live in some kind of fantasy worlds or I'm hearing a dreamer. They might be an idealist, a dreamer, someone who kind of lives in this world of daydreams or fantasies or doesn't really, again, there's this hesitancy, this over analysis this unwillingness to confront what is within them or what is within their life until it gets so big that it becomes a tower moment, it becomes a wake-up call. And with Healer of the Ages reversed, that's what I feel happened here. It's like 
this masculine is now going through that wake up call, realizing mainly, and I have to say the main realization here is that you feminine are not going to wait around in the physical forever. That's in spite of the mutuality and the depth of this connection, you love yourself so much that you aren't going to allow yourself to remain stuck in this waiting energy. You are with garden and the gates upright, going to protect your peace, protect your energy, grow your garden, so to speak, create your life consciously manifest your life whether that means he is directly involved in your physical life or not rest and rejuvenation in the upright position yeah so this has led to by the way the number 19 might be significant to someone but this has led this masculine into i'm hearing a forced period of self-reflection which again i feel is very uncomfortable for him because in general I'm sensing a masculine who, again, either really lives in the present moment, only focuses on what is directly around him, or lives in this kind of ideal world of fantasy, but isn't much for seriously planning far into the future or doing a lot of self-reflection. I feel that if this masculine looks back on the past, he often does so by the way, the, the country of Russia came out earlier and then the word Russian came out from the love word scramble. So that might be significant to someone, but I feel this masculine is uncomfortable feeling as though he's been forced into this space of needing to reflect on his past actions. Although in many cases I'm hearing this is actually his past in action, how he didn't take action and he feels angry at himself feeling that he should have taken action because now there is this fear of losing you forever. So I will be channeling more information, most likely from this masculine in future videos. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, so you can stay tuned for those future readings. But I do want to let you know before we get into these final love messages from this masculine, I have created a twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation. Now I know that not all of you will be dealing with a twin flame, always use your intuition, but I'm also picking up a lot of twin flame divine counter partnership energy from this reading. So regardless of whether you are or are not dealing with a twin flame, this twin flame seven chakra clearing is created to assist you in raising your frequency, raising your vibration to the level of pure unconditional love, which is highly magnetic for attracting love back into your life, either through your twin flame connection or through very high vibrational forms of soulmate connection. I always say this is designed to align you with your highest vibrational form of available soul connection at present in your life, which of course can also change for some of us over the course of time. Regardless, this will assist you in releasing subconscious limiting beliefs around love or connection that could be preventing you from fully connecting with this particular soulmate or twin flame. If you meditate on them or visualize them and yourself while listening, this can also help you to clear out energy blocks between yourself and this other person as well. So this twin flame clearing comes from my website, Sound and soulful.com and as you can see on the screen on this website i have over 100 subliminals for all areas of life so i have subliminals for physical appearance changes for mood shifts for mind power for money and material manifestations for love and relationships and of course for twin flames as well and the link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comments and description box under this video. So I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. There is that energy of stubbornness that I've been feeling from this masculine. I feel again that he is the one actually sending more conscious thought energy and emotional energy to you feminine 
which you are then picking up on both through this soul bond and also empathically, but actually he's also the one who is slower to take action in the physical world. So I feel he is the one that usually calls you, so to speak, energetically, psychically, but you feminine are usually the one to actually physically reach out in the 3D and are now at this point where you don't want to be the one to act first on the energy anymore. You want to fully shift into the state of self-love to hold your grounds, to hold your boundaries. But this masculine is making it very, very difficult for you. Essentially, he's trying to manifest communication from you and you are feeling it. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. You guys know this card has been such a theme. There are like 60 cards in this deck in this card seems to come out every single reading this masculine is looking for you everywhere but i'm hearing not just in every place but in every person although i have to say i feel like at this point he's given up on even trying to find you in a new person i feel he may have tried to do this for a while but now there is this feeling of almost hopelessness of i am never going to meet anyone that comes close to you divine feminine and finally, just to confirm that, that we just channeled, my heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you've lost faith in me. So this masculine really feels as though feminine, he betrayed you, betrayed your trust, or really what I'm hearing is went against your true soul intentions with one another on this higher self level and somehow brought this off course now leading you to potentially disconnect to have this new beginning with yourself or even with another person and he's feeling this disconnect in a really painful way so i do hope this reading helped to bring you some kind of clarity or guidance i do apologize the reading today was a bit heavy and i know there's kind of that tense frustrating energy coming through but i really wanted to share this message so that if you are sitting in this energy Hopefully this helped to lift you up a little bit by helping you to realize you aren't going crazy, helping you to realize that you are much more intuitive and spiritually sensitive in the best kinds of ways than you fully know or allow yourself to know at times. Remember, so much of what you feel, what you sense, what you pick up could be from others, especially those that you are intensely bonded to at the soul level. So take care of yourself. Take care of your beautiful energy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. The link to my twin flame seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comments and description box. And I will talk to you again in the next reading.